Oh, OJ's glove. Um, OJ Simpson's glove. That was like the main thing on the on the murder case, and so we just ended up naming it OJ's glove. Even though there's not one part in the song that says OJ and or glove, but it, it made sense. It was cool spin. OJ's glove is about this relationship that I have with this guy. Obviously, they're all about relationships, and um, he just really pissed me the fuck off. And I had like this whole scene in my head where I was like, all right, cool, I'm gonna just kill him. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with my car and then we're gonna have a whole scene. But it, the, the, it was so elaborate while I was driving back home. I was actually driving to Lake. I was driving to my parents' house. And um, I was like, yo, it would be really crazy if I was like running from the cops right now. Well, it's so funny because that record took me about three weeks to actually put down. So I thought about the idea of the record during the breakup that we had, but then I went to go see my homeboy Mateo, uh, who was like a, a like my favorite producer in the whole world. And um, I, I remember when, uh, when I was on the way to him, I was I had my phone in my, uh, my my hand and I was singing in the car, and I started singing this um, I don't wanna die tonight, oh yeah. And so when I seen him, I put that part down. That was all we had. And then like a week later, I came back to the studio and he was like, yo, check this thing that you laid down that day. And so we just kept digging into it and digging into it more. And then that's how the record made. But it took like three weeks to make that record. Stay up on my ears, all you do is pick the fifth. Oh my God, my ex used to just be lying. And I like, I get to the point in my, like in my personality where I just be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like, yo, just stop talking to me. And like, it was just like, no baby, please. I swear the girl that I fucked wasn't the girl that I fucked. Or it's just like, I fucked her because that day, five days ago, you told me about my pimple on my leg and I felt insane. like, ah, oh my God. Yeah, it was, just, it was, he was annoying as fuck. Like, oh my God. So you to decide now you stalk the kid is when like, we've had our breakups and then he would just be bugging me, stalking my house, blowing up my phone, calling me from like text free numbers. Just creepy, emailing me. Yeah, guys are weird sometimes, it's cool. Running from the skylight is more so like if helicopters were over you and like they're like flying around you and they have like the little lights down on you. So this is like a pun on that. I don't want to die tonight. It's just that feeling of when you make a terrible life changing decision and you just don't want to die. Like you're like either I'm gonna get shot or I don't know what's gonna happen. I just don't want to die. I know I fucked up. Writing this song, if I can describe it in one word, made me feel very vulnerable. Very vulnerable and angry and just confused. I guess that's not one word, huh? Yeah, I guess vulnerable.